Hi there, this video will instruct you how to make a poppy flower using the anemone flower template and paper flower centered bundle number four. So you'll cut everything according to the instruction document and we're going to take the three petals of the anemone uh, template and we're going to add some lines. So using a small embossing tool, you're going to just pull down from the top, almost like the shape of a seashell and really press hard in there. So you're going to go all the way around. Okay. And then once you have all the petals done, and I did that for the larger one as well. Now we're going to go over it with our metal ball stylus tool. So we're going to use the second to smallest tool. And we're going to color back and forth. So just really press down and it shapes our petal. And really embosses those lines in there. Then you're just going to go right around the edge of each of them. So you can see that texture there and set it to the side. For the smallest one, which is four inches, I believe, <laughs> we're going to still do our lines. So again, press down really hard to emboss those lines in there. They're not perfect. It does hurt your arm. <laughs> I'm not going to kid you. Really press. Okay. Now for the smallest one, we're going to take our half sphere mold which is um, what we utilize to make our peonies. And we're going to use the largest one. And why is that? Because you go by the width of your petal. So you just go in and you press down. And we're going to take one of the larger metal ball stylus and then just stir it. And it's going to give it its shape. And it gives it more of the appearance of that center part. So you can actually use a larger one. So go right up to the edge, press in, and you're going to do this just for this layer. And then you just stir your center. And that really closes in the petals around our center. Okay, so we're using um, center number two and four. So this is two. The very largest one we're going to use as our sepal on the back. So all we need to do is take our metal ball stylus. We're going to kind of stir at the top and then lift. And that's going to shape the top of the petal. So you can see it's kind of curved. We're just going to go around and you're stirring and lifting, stir and lift, stir and lift, stir and lift. Oops, it's trying to run away. Stir and lift, stir and lift. Okay, so again, this one, the largest one in the green color, this is from the Feathered Green Paper Pack by Recollections. The red I'm using is from Astro Brights. It's from the Mega Collection pack. It's like a Brights pack with um, bright gold, oranges, almost fluorescent orange and red. The very smallest one, we're going to do the exact same thing. Stir and roll. And then for our medium size, we're going to take a piece of scrap paper and our black marker. And we're going to color half of the petal, just right down the center. Just do lines. 
just on one side. So it's going to give us this striped look in the center of our flower. Have you ever tried this to do a, a striped one like this? It's fun. Much easier than adding a black layer of petals. And just draw a line down and color half. Oops. Definitely want to have your scratch paper so you don't mess up your workspace. And I'm just using a black Sharpie from my stash. And there you have the center. So we're going to bring our flower shaping mat back. You're going to flip this one over and we're going to do the exact same technique. So we're going to stir and lift. Because we want the stripes on the outside, that's why we flipped over the center. Okay, and then for our center four, which is super delicate, so you wanna use the premium fine cut blade. So I use that, I have a Cricut Explorer Air 2. So there's two of them at one size and one a little bit larger. And we're just going to go around and gently pull them towards you. So it's going to curl the petals. We're just going around. Again, I'm just going around, I'm sorry, I'm concentrating and pulling them towards me. All right, now to create our center, we need a piece of Kleenex or tissue, however you wanna say, and we're gonna do roughly a two by two size. So I'm just eyeballing two inches on my Cricut mat here. So that's regular old tissues that you blow your nose in. <laughs> and then you need a piece of tin foil. So this is, I keep um, a pack in my craft room that I bought at Dollar Tree. And you can just cut roughly, again, it's two inches by two inches. So we're going to roll the tissue paper in between your finger or your palms. And then we're going to place it inside of the tin foil and roll that between your palms to create a ball. Now we're going to take our 18 gauge wire. Now I did cut mine in half just because I am underneath a camera and I don't want to poke. <laughs> the camera and now you just pierce it into the tin foil. 
So we're going to leave that a moment to dry and we're going to pierce our holes. So I'm just using a super small embossing tool and just pierce a hole in the center. I don't do this in my design space. I just find it easier. And if there, it's a little off center, that's okay. I don't worry about it. And then we'll take our small one. And then this is our sepal, so we can go ahead and do that a while. And we'll do our petals. It gives our center a, a moment to dry. Okay, so they're all set. Now we're going to take our smallest one, is the one we didn't stripe. We're going to thread it on to our wire, and I'm going to just add some glue all the way around. And you will have to add some to your petals then. Oh, and I just pulled off my metal ball. Don't do that yourself. And then when we need to, we can go back and add some more glue. And the shape really doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. Most of this is covered. Now we're going to thread on our next one, which is our striped one on the outside. We're going to add some glue on the bottom. And then I'm going to go around and add some glue to in each individual petal. Oh, that one got on top. If you prefer, you can use craft glue at this time. Just go around and pull them up. And you may have to add glue to some of them again. Because it dries super fast, Gorilla Glue. Just getting all my glue strings off and making sure it's attached. Oh, there you go. So now we're going to thread our two smaller center fours in black. Of course, you can do any color you wanted to if you were doing a different type of flower. If you're making this center for a different one, which is what you can do. I want you to have fun with it and be creative.
I don't know where my, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong spot. And now add glue to the bottom. And I'm just going to try and place them in between the previous layers. Centers. Oh my goodness, she's so fun. Look at that. And thread your next one on of center four, which is a little bit larger. Add your hot glue right around the base there. If you wanted to, you can pull some out. And now we're going to, we stirred our center already, so now we're going to thread on our first red petal. And again, add glue around that base there. So just hold your glue gun and twirl your stem. Flip it over and press. And then we're going to roll with one of our larger metal ball stylus tools. So if you are in need of any paper flower um, tools, I offer the shaping mats, uh, metal ball stylus, the half spear molds in my Etsy shop in the tools section. And again, we just add a little bit of hot glue right around the center. That one you can go out a little bit more. Thread your petal down in between the petals of the previous layer and press. And then we're going to roll again with our large metal ball stylus on the flower shaping mat. We thread on our petal. Add a little bit of hot glue. So twirl. The instructions to make this flower come with the um, Paper Flower Center Bundle number four. And they're also available on my Facebook page in the 2022 Crafting Happy Hour tutorial photo album. And now you just add on your sepal. So we thread that on, we add a little bit of glue. And you can, of course, add floral um, tape to cover your stem if you'd like, depending what you're using it for. And that's how you make a poppy using the anemone template. So I did use the red. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.